Yeah, I guess I can... Oh yeah, I can, I can just get rid of all of my, my notes. My three notes that I had written down were Russians were guessed. Uh, Nichols and O'Hagan were on the expedition. And 37 has the tattoo of an arm. I mean, tattoo on his on their arm of a woman. All those have been resolved. Those people are all identified. Hmm. And this all happened because I... The way I, I started that is I just went to this photo. And I just clicked on people looking for somebody that's not in that many memories that I haven't identified yet. And that's how I found this guy. Guess what? Oops. I think I'm just gonna try that a bit more. You, you were shot by an, un, uh, an unknown attacker. Which chapter was that? Escape part three. I probably know who that attacker is by now, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, escape part three. Let's identify your attacker. It's on the top top? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I should double check. I should make sure the Russians are all identified. I know who their names are now. Uh, I'm pretty sure the no, the other two Russians are set in stone already, aren't they? It's just this guy. The you? That is a three. Is this? Is it? Let's see. Yeah, nine part three. It's her. Emily Jackson, identified. There we go, shot with a gun. Emily Jackman, Jackson. Alright, so that's two things identified. This guy and the guy that was shot because the other person was being kidnapped. So, the next person identified should be a solution. If I'm correct about these, which I really hope I am. Killed with a sword by an unknown attacker. It was you, wasn't it? And your name is... Leonid Volkov. I'm pretty sure you just oh, I'm pretty sure you just stabbed him like a moment ago in the in the other dream, the other memory. I mean, I guess I could just go into your death. What? That's a different transition. <laughs> they skipped the they skipped the drawn out version. Yeah. You were killed by Leonid, the Russian. Yeah! Hoping that's how that was working out. I've definitely lost track of what interval of three we're at right now, but I'm guessing 36? That looks like it might be two sets of three past the halfway point. Ah. This was such an intimidating list. I was really worried how intimidating this list looked, but we're, we're getting it. So you're the guy who escapes and write this, writes this. Uh, you've been positively identified. Yeah. And you've been possibly a tenant? Yeah. Miss Jane Bird. I don't know who you are. You're someone's steward, I believe. You might be the carpenter's mate. If you're the carpenter's mate, the other guy's the carpenter. We're running out of mates. I kind of want to go back to that chapter. 
he fired a gun to try to stop it. This guy uh, is here. <laughs> Can I go down here? You guys are still dealing with stuff over here. This is when this guy died. This is the the deck where the beds would be, but I don't think any of them are out. What are you doing over here? What are you doing right now? Oh, you're sneaking. You're sneaking. Isn't that... That's interesting, isn't it? What's the context of your sneaking? This is... This is the escape chapter. Uh... So you died first. The beast is dead? How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. Captain came up from the hold, said he chased it off. You should rest. A curse like that does not lift for nothing. That's gonna be what the bargain is. The captain made a bargain. That's definitely what happened. So he's, that was the last thing he said, then he died. And then that kid was the witness. And then he dies soon, right? This guy gets stabbed, escaping. This guy gets shot. So you're all identified, positively. This guy is going to get shot. The captain cannot be trusted. You have a plan? We take the ship and sail east. Mutiny! Fresh bastard. Then he gets killed by the person who declared mutiny. Then this guy dies, who's the one that claimed mutiny. This guy's still an unknown officer? Right, I guess I don't know who you are. Going by remaining number of people, who's even left to be not the, who you are? Not a steward, is he? He might be the helmsman. He kind of has like a, uh, I, I, I'm the helm. Actually, yeah, the helmsman's like the only remaining officer that makes sense, isn't it? And he was shot with a gun from an unknown attacker. Well, he was shot by John Davies. I'm pretty sure the helmsman going by that hat. I'm not happy. I'm not happy guessing that right now. But it's just there's, we're running out of officers, like completely running out of potential officers. And look at that fucking hat. He looks like a train conductor. That speaks helmsman to me. You get clubbed over the head by the guy who dies in the final story chapter. This guy then gets stabbed. Like this guy witnesses so much shit. This is where he bleeds out. What's all this, you damn fool? When did he get stabbed, though? What's the timeline here? It's like right now, this guy's getting shot. That's not entirely accurate. Uh, he was getting shot a moment ago. Now we're in the guy gets in the part where the guy gets stabbed, right? Yeah, so we went back in time a little bit. I kind of want to go back and back in time. I want to go back forward to the part where the guy was getting shot a moment later and see what that guy was doing down here. So I'm going to do just that, but I think I have to leave first. I'm going to go conjure that memory real quick again. And then just run right down here. Okay, y'all are in my way. You look like you're about to do something. He's definitely running in that direction. Okay. That's pr it's pretty clear who stabbed you. It was you. The guy I can't identify. He's gotta be the driver. But why are you running after him with a knife right now? You two are about to fight to the death. Because you're planning a mutiny. What were you guys talking about that you're willing to kill him because he heard you? Y 
You can peek back here, but I don't think that amounts to much. Ha. Huh. Well, I know who stabbed you, finally. I still don't know your name. I mean, that's a train conductor's hat. That has to be, like, the standard... I think, that's, I think that just is the helmsman's hat. There's no other officers left. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I figured out the third... Yeah. I, I'm gonna go with that. You're the helmsman. So you were shot, you were stabbed by the helmsman. I don't know who you are, though. You're probably somebody's steward. Do I have the... the bosun's mate? That's kind of a line I want to investigate, potentially. Is do I have the- yeah, I had the bosun? Not the bosun's mate. I have a claim. So I've, I was claiming he's the bosun's mate and he's torn apart by a terrible beast. Huh. Him being torn apart by a terrible beast is correct. But if he was the bosun's mate, it would have said that he was the bosun's mate by now. I've had that set that way for a while. And it has not been confirmed, so it's got to be wrong. Which I kind of thought it was, because why is Tattoo Guy the bosun's mate? Uh, why did I think that? There was a reason. There was a reason I thought that, and I don't remember what it was. But clearly it's probably wrong. I don't know, I think one thing to do is just to go through this guy- go through this guy's... ...event scenes he shows up in until I can figure out, uh, who the hell he is. Now that I know his- now that I know his death, it'll be actually, uh, concretely shown when I- when we get there. So this is the very next memory. He was hiding behind the wall during the part of the guy's- when the guy was- the guy was saying that, uh... A storm doesn't just- a monster doesn't just go away like that for no reason or whatever. That's when the guy got stabbed. A moment later, this guy gets shot, and this is what's happening down here. That's interesting. So we don't, we don't know exactly what he heard. Something happened that led to him charging out to kill him. Which, we, and we don't really know what that is right now. Interesting. Definitely stuff left for implication around here. So then he bleeds out after being shot. Or this guy, this guy gets shot. No, you're shot. You're bludgeoned. You... Have at this point been, a. Uh, you bleed out eventually. These guys escaped. Don't know who you are either. They're both they're probably both stewards or mates or something. Huh. The end. This is all fully identified. Yeah, the end is over. We're done with that one. We're done we're so we're also done with we have we have a couple of it left in the escape. Let's see, loose cargo. Solved. This cargo is solved. A bitter cold is solved. Okay. Now on to murder. A murder is solved. The calling. This unknown soul is was speared by a terrible beast. How do I identify this guy? Going by the the face and the clothing, I'm guessing he's Chinese. There seems to be a, a subset of Chinese workers. That narrows him down, if that is correct, to four people. I currently have zero information of who any of the Chinese people might be. Hmm. Is that fully identified? Yep. Right, I gotta remember that if it doesn't have a piece of paper, it's done. Unknown soul was knifed. Five memories. A lot of these are solved, but not all of them. Okay, I want to focus on that, I think. Um... Or do I? I do want to look into the Chinese people, but I also want to look into you. How many memories are you in? Fifteen! Oh boy. What was your first memory? A large cow being slaughtered for meat? 
Never been on a farm, Charlie? Mind your shoes now. Charlie. I've identified Charlie, haven't I? Like he wasn't, it wasn't him. Charles, yeah, Charles Minor. Was the other one. It was a different Charlie, right? Charles Hirschtick. Burned. Yeah, so that's the guy who was charlieing in that scene. I don't think his first memory is the one we want to go by, right? But he was also there, evidently. I think that's him in the background. I think the person is hurling over here. Hmm. Take him to the carpenters, get him wrapped to see the, to the last rites. Take him to the carpenters. I'm a little curious about this scene. Let's see, Orlop deck. We're currently on... Oh, we're currently in a memory. <laughs> Right. I might just stalk this guy for a little while to see if I can figure out his identity and then try the Chinese people. I think there might be scenes where they're in locations that indicates who the hell they are or something. I don't think that I don't think any of the four of them have had like moments to be in the center of the story necessarily, but they're all there. And I need, I need more to go on than just their nationality, and I'm guessing I'll find that if I follow them for a bit. Oh right, I'm looking for the cow. Yeah, Charles. So he's been identified. You're the butcher. Emil O'Farrell. Even listen to that voice he has. He's Irish as fuck. Okay, so he's the butcher. The, you know, the one that literally does a butchering at one point. I really didn't think to think that the guy that cuts the, the throat of the cow was the butcher. I didn't think to mark that one down as being a definite. I mean, it's not the most, it's not entirely definite ever, but I mean, now that we're in tune with this guy, this game's logic a little bit, that's pretty, it's pretty concrete, all things considered. You're just also here. Do I have any idea who you are? You blow up. He's the guy that explodes. I think this is all of the, Let's see, cause you were, you were a midshipman. Oh, you're just a midshipman. You're not even an. You're not. A, when I see these guys that look like kids or whatever, I thought they'd all be like the stewards or whatever that are like directly under somebody else. Let's see. Take him to the carpenters. Get him wrapped to see his last rites. Hit her over the head. One swing. Get through the skull. Stun her brain. I'll cut her throat when you're done with it. The axe is interesting to me. Is an axe specifically a carpenter's tool? Should I think that an axe is a carpenter's tool or just that you have an axe at a random? It is the monkey again. Wait, you? The, the author of this book has the monkey. Huh. I just pressed M to open the map. <laughs> so you guys are going towards the carpenter's office, which is back here. That's the carpenter right there. Do 
you could be the car you could be the carpenter or the carpenter's mate. The butcher doesn't have a mate, so you, even though you're helping with the butchering, you're not probably that. I don't think you're just a midshipman because you straight up have like a thing on your neck, but if I can identify the other midshipmen, that'd be interesting. Let's see. Got like these cuffs on your arms. Are you just a midshipman? You guys have these dark clothes, white pants, cuffs on your arms. Are these all midshipmen? Thomas and Peter. I'm gonna say unknown midshipman. I think I have a clue. Uh, let's go to escape real quick. The chapter where you die. Tell Pete's mother I tried my best to pull him back to save him. You're Peter. You die on a weird rope and explode. You're Peter. So based on the Tom, based on those midshipmen costumes, I think you're you're the only midshipman left. So you you must be Thomas. Thomas Lank was knifed by Finley Dalton. You're the guy that explodes. Throw the powder. <clears throat> that was a weird death. That was a really weird death. Wait, do you- you also have the, the tie on your neck, don't you? Yeah, so like, that's your uniforms. You're the midshipmen, all here. Uh, on this deck, to help. And... This guy's butchering. I didn't get a hit for any of these, did I? Oh, that's good. That's bad. <laughs> that's bad. I'm wrong. I'm wrong about something. I'm wrong about something because the, uh, it didn't give me a three. Shit! I thought that was a good- I thought that was a good call. Can I see behind the curtain? Are you guys- you guys hiding something back here? I bet that behind that curtain they're actively guarding- If I could see back there, they're probably guarding the- Ooh! That's interesting. If you can get access to the back room, you could tell that they're probably guarding that thing behind the curtain. That's where they're standing watch. I can't look right now, unfortunately. Damn it. Hmm. Let's try to figure out this book then. I've got this wrong. I could be wrong about who stabbed you though. There's a bookmark system, but this makes more sense to me. I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at. So he's in the Soldiers at Sea chapter. He's at Doom. Own Holy Captives. He's there for a minute. This is the... We know where he is during this chapter. Yeah. We're familiar with that one. But the Doom... Yeah, he says he tried to pull him back. If this is where that guy died, let's try to see where that guy died. Just on the main deck. Seven, part six. If I go to that guy's death, I might be able to verify exactly what I think happened. I gotta figure out why it's wrong. Think it's this guy? No, that's not him. No. That's six part one.
Is that seven part six? I think so. Yeah, he tried to pull him back. Yeah, so that's, that's Peter. Unless there's another Peter on this place that isn't a midshipman, and maybe I'm just wrong about the midshipman part? No. That's the only Peter, and he's a midshipman as I expected, and he was blasted by an explosion, right? That's clearly an explosion. As clearly as it possibly could be, I feel like. They even say, throw the powder. He explodes. And this is you, who might not be Thomas, but you pull, you were trying to pull him back, as you said you were. So yeah, I'm right about that part, at the very least. This guy lives forever. The entire thing's being pulled sideways. This guy has all the guns. The gunner's accounted for, right? The gunner's mate. I don't think you're the gunner's mate. So you guys are both down there. I mean, that's the main thing I wanted to check. I don't know who the hell you are, though. Apparently that dialogue was all one person. Let's maybe go back to that guy that gets whipped in the face. That, yeah, that whole scene. It said that he was in this scene, so I want to see where he was. Because it, was, it wasn't him, right? No. That's that one kid. So where are you in this mess? booking it back here. Get back. I have you labeled as the Captain Steward. Oh, I don't know what happens to you, so I can't verify your fate at all yet, because I haven't seen you die. This guy gets whipped in the face and dies. Then you guys have terrible falls, and everything goes really badly for you guys. Uh, you guys are from this direction. That's potentially interesting. There's nothing in that direction. Kind of a cooking area, at best. Okay, that towel crossed with what looks like a cooking area might give us a semblance of a hint of who you might be. Then I already identified the cook and the butcher. I have you listed as a steward. So these are four mates, stewards, a ship steward. I need names to go on, basically. Nope. I'm trying to close this thing. Oh, I'm, oh I, was missing, I was missing Q on accident. Whoops. The towel might be significant, but otherwise I don't, I don't know what to do with this. The cooking people are all done with... I mean, these guys are probably both stewards or something. But to who? Like, I need to verify who they are. And that's that's a job for a different day. I'm trying to focus on this asshole that's so hard to track. And this is decidedly not a helpful memory. 
curious about this guy running off. I'm not sure what to do with that right now either. <laughs> 